Hello, in this uh, video, I'm going to again do one example merit question on trig trigonometric equation of level 2 maths of New Zealand Qualification Authority. This is an external exam, so let's read the question. <coughs> A water wheel is rotating vertically on an axis. So, can you see a water wheel? And this is the axis, this is the axis, and this is the water wheel. It has a point P marked, so this is the point P, okay, this is the point P marked on its circumference, so this is the point P marked on its circumference, so this is the water. The water wheel rotates at a constant speed. P is below the surface of the water for part of each of the rotation of the wheel. The height h meters of p above the surface of the water at time t minutes after midday is h is given by this equation so let's understand this equation so the question is in any one revolution of the wheel find how long p remains below the surface of water so let's write the equation that's where we start so h is the height, let's understand height, h, h in meters is the height of point P above the surface of water. So this is the water and uh, here, uh, let's read this, so h is equal to sine pi by 8 times P plus 0 0.3. Now this is in meters, so now this this should tell you that the baseline is 0 0.3 meters. So this is your baseline. And the coefficient of sine is 1. So the amplitude is 1. So let's write that. So this is very crucial information. So we can write baseline is 0 0.3 meters. And your amplitude is, amplitude is 1. Now your maximum is let me let me write the formula maximum is baseline plus amplitude so which is 1.3 meters and your minimum is baseline minus amplitude minimum m i n the minimum would be baseline minus amplitude which is 0.3 take away 1 which is negative 0.7 okay so here if consider okay so what else do we know we need, we need to know the period now period is uh, 2 pi divided by this the coefficient of the variable so 2 pi divided by pi by 8 which is 16 pi by pi which is 16 minutes. So basically what is this equation telling me? That one cycle or one complete revolution takes 16 minutes. Okay, so let's draw the graph. Okay, so the baseline is 0 0.3. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So first I'll draw the baseline. So this is your baseline which is I need to make this bigger let me drag this up okay so your baseline is uh, 0 0.3 so this is your baseline your maximum is 1.3 your maximum is say yeah somewhere here and your minimum is somewhere here not exact to scale so this is very important that you draw this graph and then you can check this on a calculator and then only you can understand the scales so this is your on the x-axis you have taken the time time and on your y-axis you have taken the height okay so the height of point p above the surface of water so now this is a so this is 0 0.3 which is your baseline 1.3 is your maximum 
can you see this difference is the maximum is baseline plus the amplitude the amplitude is one year can you see the amplitude is one year and the amplitude is also one year I'll remove this later okay so this is your minimum which is negative 0 0.7 so sine sine graph always starts at baseline so this is your baseline so at zero so this is zero zero okay so let me show so the scale so this is zero and you want a period of 16 so this I'll make four divisions let me delete this this is on the way so let me use say this color so this is zero okay and then you got four divisions because this is 16 minutes I'll write minutes here so and this is so six half of 16 is 8 and half of 8 is 4 so it's 4 8 12 16 so T is your time in minutes time in minutes and your height is in meters isn't it let me see your H meters so it's H is height in height of P above water above water in meters okay so this is your height okay so this is starts at baseline okay oh sorry so this is the baseline is this okay so starts at baseline I was almost wrong so this is the baseline then hits the maximum after four minutes then hits again back the baseline at eight minutes this is minimum at 12 minutes and again the baseline so this is one full cycle so the cycle would look like this let me use black color so this is one cycle so now let's read the question the question is let's check this on the calculator before we draw it so get your calculators out now by now you should know how to draw it so always go to graph and then always you should check your setting setup you should set in which degrees or radians okay we are working in radians so your setting should be in radians so it's already in radians and then you can type in sign bracket shift phi x which is your t divided by 8 it's better to close the bracket plus 0 0.3 now why I told you it's very important to draw this graph then only you can understand the scale so on the x-axis I want a scale from 0 to 16 at a scale of 4 so I'll go shift V window I want a scale of 0 to 16 step of 4 and on y-axis we need a scale from it doesn't matter because in on x-axis the scale is important the y-axis the scale is not important in the sense that you need of course from negative 1 to 2 okay, the scale the minimum and maximum is important but the scale is not important so I want say this is negative 0 0.7 so well I can say let me go up to negative 1 to 2 okay that will be sufficient for because we only want to go from negative 0 0.7 to 1.3 so I've gone from minus 1 to 3 scale of say 0 0.2 okay or 0 0.5 doesn't matter don't change this and so this is your sine curve okay so it's confirmed here so to confirm this point this is 0 0.3 you shift press G solve and Y intercept so 0 0.3 G sol maximum. So after four minutes, you get the maximum at 1.3. G sol minimum. So your graph is perfect. Okay, so let me minimize this. Now let's read the question. So zero is the water level. Okay, so here, if you want to understand graphically, this x axis also is your water level. 
water level okay at p it is zero at at this point or on x axis it is zero meters away above the water level so this is in other words you can treat this as a water level so the question is in one revolution of the wheel find how long p remains below the water so if this is the water we want to find these two points we want to find basically these two points so at this point it's hitting the uh, water okay does it make sense so these are the two points we are looking for so where does your graph become zero and between this point to this point uh, uh, between this time to this time the point P will be below the water so this is what we want to find so let me use this arrow key so what do we want we want these two points okay so let's say if this is a T1 and T2 okay we want to find T1 and T2 so now G solve and we want to find uh, the root okay so root so after 8.8 .8 seconds sorry 8.8 .8 minutes so first your t1 is 8.8 .8, so let me write it here so your t1 is 8.8 .8 minutes and then if you press scroll you get 15.2 minutes so t your t2 is 15.2 minutes not meters minutes so the question is how long the wheel will below the surface of water so uh, the, to answer this question you have to do basically do t2 minus t1 so that is menu run 15.2 minus 8.8 .8. the answer is 6.4 minutes so in other words you can say for 6.4 minutes the answer here is for 6.4 four minutes uh, the point P will remain below the water I'll do one more question in the next video this is an excellence question where you have to write the equation you got your, you need to find a B and C this is from the same year 2010 I'll do in the next video see in the next video